what we're gonna need to assemble an engine crane or engine lift um, whatever you want to call it so we have it right here we started disassembling the box and let's see how difficult it is to put one together or maybe it's going to be easy It actually comes together with two boxes. We have another box over there. Now, I hope I get lucky and it actually works straight out of the box because Sometimes these pumps, the hydraulic pumps, they're not good. But let's see if it actually came with some tools. And I know one thing is having this grass here, it's not gonna really help for rolling. We do have some metal sheets like that. I have another one that I may set over here. So I think this is gonna help me maneuver the engine out of there so all right let's take a look at this instructions a lot of times what i do is i just look at how things are assembled and i just go from there so we have another box right here kevin you think you could open that box for me Thanks, buddy. So, what do we have here? So, this is the, the crane portion. And that's a piece of the crane portion. So, we have this pump. Pump that goes here. Looks like we have two of these oh, hold down brackets. Two more wheels. wheels. Okay, that's a lot of wheels. So, what I'm not seeing is, I guess it's this piece. This is an important piece of equation. So that goes there so this is already kind of kind of coming together we're gonna begin by just pulling out these here and just go ahead and actually slide this in to install the wheels I'm just gonna flip this thing on this back we'll install it that way it's gonna be fine so one section is already installed actually I don't even know if wheels are gonna be a good idea or a bad idea So what I try to do guys is I install stuff according to the picture, the common sense way. And where common sense is not gonna be working out for me, then I pull the instructions out. So obviously um, I know what goes here. It's this piece. It's gonna go on that end right there. So it's, so, oh, just remove your foot from there. No, just no, just put it down. Put it down. It's okay. Put it down for now. So it's gonna be tilted this way. Just come on this side. Just hold it. So we're gonna need proper bolts. 
they probably all use the same bolts so that's a 10 so here's a 9 16 so here's a 9 So we're gonna put a line there. Okay, start lowering it down. Okay, now can you bring that metal piece? Mm -hmm. Is it heavy? So we're gonna need to set it down in the bolts like that. Just hold it so it doesn't fall. So next, we're gonna need to put washers. Then we're gonna need to put these things. These keep the bolts tight. Oh, they just just keep it in place, Kevin. Just keep it in place because this is a heavy metal. Let's flip it on the side for now. Dad, I will use it, okay? Well, this is going to be for holding the bolt. Are you holding me? Yeah. You're doing a good job. Of course. You're learning how to use tools fast. This is getting heavy. Yeah, we're gonna need a torque, torque for that. Okay. Oh, you're strong. You're able to pull that out easy. So, this is why you use a torque. I guess that's really tight. Well, it's still, it's still spinning. Okay, that's enough. It's very powerful too. Mm -hmm. See, it's so powerful that it bends metal. So let's compare these uh, wheels. See if they're correct. See if they're the same. No, this is actually smaller. So these, there's these four big ones and we have two small ones. All right, let's just keep those small ones over here for now. Let me see, there, there's a number on these. Number 22. Look, Look at the picture. Do you, do you see how the steel wheels go? Is that understandable? Yeah. So you have the washer and then you have that piece that's kind of like looks like a C that's been cut, and then there's a bolt. So let me show you how this goes. So I'm gonna pull, pull these bolts out. No, 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 don't lift it, don't lift it. Keep it. This is not tight. Kevin, come here. Come here. So we have this bag right here. Let's go ahead and actually open it. So here, hold this bolt. Okay, take take a, take a look at it. See, open it up. Just don't drop the pieces. Nope, that nope, 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 nope. Um, <clears throat> according to the instructions, the bolts go through the wheel. So we're gonna do this together. See, you actually have to reach them inside, and you have to put it there. This is actually. Oh, you have small hands. No, 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 no. No, you <clears throat> you you're kind of doing it correctly, but. So here's what we're gonna do. No, take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take this piece off too. Take them off and, and hold them. Hold them. So look, we're gonna put this bolt through. Now go inside and put those things on. First, put the washer. Are you able to put the bolt without without having those things fall off? Very easy. Well, I think they they designed this thing wrong. So Kevin, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it the other way. Kevin, we're gonna do it the way the way you were trying to do this. Set this down on my hand. Okay. Set it down on my hand. 
Listen, come here. Come here. What is it? Okay, take this bolt. Give me that. Okay, take the bolt. Stick it through the hole, through the back. Yeah, through the back. Okay, now I'm holding it. Now I'll take a washer. Put the washer this on it. This is the washer. That's the washer. So now take the C piece. C piece. Put the C piece. Now take the bolt. I mean, that's a knot. And start to put the knot on. That's much easier, isn't it? No, yes. not that way. You need to make it straight. Make the knot straight. Knots. Okay, let, let go. Let's go. So, so see, you have to make sure that it's straight like this. Then it's going to go easy. See? Good job. It's not going. That's fine. That's fine. So now we're going to do this one. Go to the back and attach that one. Can you find a hole? I can't find it. You, 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 you see it. Okay, here you go. You got it. Now we're going to put the washer. Now put the seat piece. I don't know if we have enough. Oh, we have plenty, so look. Just make that tight. So before we actually install these, so that you're not going to be getting scratched, we're going to get the proper tool. You take this, see how it's flipped? Reach inside, and well, like that, and just grab it, see? And then, then we take this, you wanna, you wanna tighten it? This is much easier to do this one. Just don't make it too tight. We have to we have to install these other ones. If you make it tight, we're not gonna be able to do it. Okay, let's install some more. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to align that first. Because if we're gonna make it too tight, then it's not gonna work. Okay, hold on. I think this is actually much better way that we're doing it than the way the picture has it because these bolts are much more accessible this is called teamwork so we're gonna do all of the steel wheels like this hey guys um we already installed four wheels we're gonna be installing these wheels, but we decided to actually go ahead and install a couple of these bars. Now, I will give you a word of recommendation. First of all, you're gonna use a size nine bolts. It's gonna have like nine stickers. So if you, it's a part nine, that's, that's what it means. So I recommend installing it like this, where the flat piece is this way, and that's going that way. That's, this is obvious, but install this portion first because you're gonna have two pieces that's coming together and if you install that other side first it is not going to be proper angle for you to put that bolt in we may, we might even struggle with this one but that's why we're not tightening this all the way my son kevin figured it out so kevin what did you tell me um it's supposed this thing's supposed to be in the it's supposed to be under yeah. that's actually right and how did you figure that out um because if it's this, um, it will like. Well, I don't like know what to tell you. Well, you told me you have common sense, right? That's how you figure it out because you have common sense, which is exactly correct. You have common sense. It's actually right. That's according to the book. So, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna hold on, Kevin. Before you align that one, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Kevin, Kevin, don't align it yet. First we're gonna need to put this piece, remove that bolt. Just remove it. Can you, can you drop that bolt right through? Drop it through the hole. Just keep it in place like that. Let's see if this is gonna line up.
Did that bolt go all the way through, Sunok? Did it go through? Feel it at the bottom. Feel it at the bottom. Did it go through? Yeah. Great. See? Ron, you're exactly correct. So, we're just gonna leave that for now. From the bottom. Put it. it goes. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Just uh, put a washer on it now. Washer. 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 Then put that little C clamp. And then put a nut. Okay. Get it nice and tight. Nice and tight. Well, so just nice and just no, the, the hand tight. No, no, that's it. That's it. Just leave it. So no, so no, just leave it. Now we're gonna do this side. Now we're gonna need to attach this. Don't don't tighten it yet, so no, don't tighten it. This might we might have a problem here with it fitting. See, it's not reaching. It's not reaching far enough. I think that um, big gun could do it. It can. Um, okay, I have an idea, Sonok. Guys, every time I'm thinking I might not need to actually record something, uh, something like this, I thought I'm just gonna put it together and that's it. But it turns out I actually need to give you guys some advice as to what we're gonna actually do on this side to you know get everything situated i'm actually gonna put a clamp on it because this they have this kind of flat so that is not good this is why we're going to actually just put a clamp on it and press these things together that way we could actually get the bolt in there and actually get everything squeezed i did decide to go ahead and actually get these things tight and i was hoping that i'm kind of like putting these things together wrong but i'm not and as you can see kind of like the metal's kind of curved the kind of belt i'm bent so not very high quality steel i don't even know why they went ahead and actually bent those ends they should have just left it flat because that's actually causing an issue because that's the portion we're going to need to push down so that is the thing and then another thing i want to show you um so when it comes to installing these wheels they are the smaller kind so these are the two that come in a smaller type of box these bolts they simply go right through and then obviously this wheel could turn just fine so over here now we have an issue you see how i install these bolts because i installed them kind of incorrectly not by the instructions but this is the way i actually recommend that you install yours because here's the thing look how deep those things are in there and of course this is kind of like accessible because you know we turn everything off but you know still though you got to put a, a washer there and you got to put this little other thing to keep the nuts from off and then a nut down there that's just asking for trouble stuff which is going to fall in that tube and of course fall out the other side so the solution uh for this would be just go ahead and actually cut these uh take a cutting wheel or a grinder cut these bolts you know much shorter so once i actually get these nice and tight and then of course once you do that it's going to be rotating just fine plus the installation is a lot easier so that is the little update now we do have just a couple pieces left uh, we have that piece which we'll install on top that piece is just going to slide inside and of course we got the, uh, the actual jack portion which will attach to that and you know to this piece here so it's going to be pretty well easy. anyways guys i wanted to show you kind of like what we're dealing with look this metal plate is actually curved it actually should be flat so i don't know why it's actually this type of form but it is and it is installed the proper way except this right here towards the top i just kind of did that to hold things so i want to show you what am i going to do in order to actually fix it so let's see as you could see that's what it wants to do and if i install it any other way believe believe me it just uh, basically does the same thing it's either facing the other way or this way there is really no other way to go about it so what i'm gonna end up doing is thinking outside the box maybe this is just like my kit that's like this or maybe all of these chinese kits are just so bent out of shape you know oh i really would not want to pull this thing out 
I'm just gonna bend that bolt all the way in because if I do pull it out I might not be able to even put it back on so um, I'll just use this so we have the washer in, in the box so here's what we have so far so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually I was gonna say we're gonna attempt to put this on but seems like it's really not gonna work that well it's like it was at least fitting last time so I really don't know what the heck they did but things are just like not working out for me right now so I'm just gonna try to bend it myself to make it more straight get this thing loose and uh, apparently it's still not going so I will also get this other side loose So at least now I'm actually able to put the bolt on as you could see because I got those things loose so my plan for this whole thing is is actually take this clamp clap the metal down there's actually not a lot of room for me to do this so this is gonna be like a trial and error I got this thing close enough so at least at least if anything at least I could put this knot back on as you can see this bolt kind of came out because of that so we could kind of kind of have enough enough thread but i would have to pretty much just put it there on, the, on an edge hopefully it's not going to slip off yeah we did it Don't really want to grab right now. Closer. Okay. That ought to do it. I'll have to work real fast in case it decides to slip off. But you see, guys, I just don't understand how they designed it in such a stupid way. It's really not helping anybody. Yeah, it's really bent, like, I mean, if they would have just, like, left the steel just straight, just put holes in it, it would have been a lot easier. But because the way it's shaped, it's just not a good design. Of course it does help having these type of tools nearby so I need to install the last wheel and and install the crane portion now it came time to actually cut off the these bolts that's actually sticking out that way everything is going to twist properly so pretty much have most of the stuff installed that we need to um, so once we actually stand this up, we want to make sure that things are going to be rotating. We don't really don't want to have to mess with it anymore. So first we're going to cut these off where they, where they sit, rotate it to the other side and cut the other side off.
gotta install this here now having two people certainly will help it's just me right now so it's gonna have to do looks like we have a 16 and a 10 we also have a 14 so this is obviously the 14 So not too difficult for this one. The next portion where I gotta install the cylinder might be a little bit more difficult. We will see. And I'm not really looking at the instructions pretty much throughout this whole build. So I'll have to decide which bolts go where. So we have two different lengths and two very different bolts. So let's decide. Okay, I could I know for a shorter one it's gonna go to the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> so Let's go ahead and get this thing probably like this. And it seems kind of big. For this side, but we will see. Oh, it's just perfect. So now this one, it's not facing the right direction, so we have to straighten it out. This is actually a lot less difficult than I thought. And before we plump it, we're gonna need to close this. Okay. So 
probably goes from this side. Pump just a little bit more. So yeah, that's the that do it. But for the aesthetics, I want to keep keep things on the same side. Not that it really matters. But since I already started that bolt on this side, I want this one to be here too. So we take and put that there. Okay. Right now. Okay, so obviously I just kind of like pull things out. Probably should have not done that, but get the idea. So this is what it's doing to raise things. Pretty long cylinder. And obviously the shorter it is, the heavier engine you could actually lift up. So let's go ahead and actually take this, install it. I'll just install it right here. It's not a really heavy engine. But of course, to each its own. You know, you will need to adjust it. This is a simple, simple solution here. Just remove this clamp, adjust it. But this is pretty much put together. We just need to do the final step. And that is to actually tighten things up. So we got that one. That one was not that tight. Okay, so that's actually a round size. What? Are you kidding me? What about this? Also long size. Okay. Let's find a proper one for that one. Oh, well, you look at that. It's actually holding good. So, guys, it is assembled. It is now done. It is finished. Wow, um, yeah, <laughs> obviously I'll need to make it shorter. That's, that's, that's gonna bust my window out. And of course, uh, not included in the kit, you'll need a chain. My name is Serge Zamaleta. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? 
BF Sprinter expedite their business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.